Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So highly touted New Zealand cruiserweight prospect David Nika made his pro debut today and he won his fight by a first round knockout. This really is just a quick post fight review. So David Nika, very good amateur in New Zealand. Um, tall and rangy guy. He's a cruiserweight at six foot six, believe it or not. He's got a very long reach, seems powerful, and in the future, you can easily see this guy going to the heavyweight division. But on his pro debut, he was fighting a guy called Jesse Mayo, and he knocked him out in the first round. David Nika came out, you know, trying to manage the distance, and he was picking some really nice right hands to the body from the outside. And this fight really didn't last long at all. It may have lasted 60, 70 seconds, something like that. And then David Nika threw a right hand from the outside. It clipped um, Jesse Mayo on the top of the head. Mayo went down. He was saying it was behind the head and he couldn't beat the count. And the fight was stopped. So David Nika wins the fight by a first round knockout. Obviously, you can't look too much into a pro debut that lasted all of a minute. But from what little I did see, I was quite impressed. He seems to have a good gauge of distance control, seems to have some good power on his shots. He moves quite well for a big man actually, his footwork isn't too bad uh, whatsoever. Actually got quite quick feet as well, quick hands. Seems very athletic, in great shape, seems to carry power. You know, from what little I did see, you know, David Nika is certainly somebody to look out for in the cruiserweight division. Um, if he develops properly, He's definitely going to be a problem with those sort of attributes at six foot six with that reach. And yeah, I mean, he didn't put a foot wrong on his pro debut. Don't get me wrong, the opponent really wasn't anything special, but he was unbeaten at 3 0, and, and um, David Nika took care of him in quick fashion. So, full marks on his pro debut. I'll certainly be following his career closely from this point. I'm a big fan of the cruiserweight division anyway, so another guy in the mix, all good for me. I love this division, and um, yeah, I think he's certainly a really good prospect. So yeah, share your thoughts below. What did you make of David Nika? And if you're from New Zealand, tell us a bit more about him. You know, tell us a bit more about his amateur background, how highly he was thought of, etc. So yeah, I'll definitely be interested in hearing from you guys out in New Zealand. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick post-fight review. Can't really go too much into detail because it was one minute. But initial impressions, I'm impressed. So share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Del Boy. Peace.